What's up, Bob? Doug Dini in the garage. I got an interesting one for you today. I want to teach you how to make a lanyard knot on the end of your uh, sweatshirt strings, right? It looks like this. Uh, and there's a practical reason. First of all, it kind of looks cool. I was a Boy Scout, big fan of knots. But it shortens the string, uh, which makes them safer for use around power tools. A lot of these are way too long, man. You're using a grinder, drill press, that gets stuck in there. It's going to pull you right into the machine. Uh, and also, it makes the end large enough that it doesn't slip out in here in the wash. I mean, y'all know the aggravation of that. So uh, I do this to all of my sweatshirts. And I happen to have just gotten one of our newly designed uh, uh, sweatshirts with Eric's logo on there. Uh, and you can see the strings are way too long. If I'm hanging over a grinder or something, this is just asking to get pulled into it. And it's the first time I wash it, it's quite obvious what's going to happen. These are going to uh, disappear into the hood and this is going to be separate in the wash. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself uh, all your string on one side. So pull it your hood tight and then pull it through without pulling it through the other side, obviously, but to give yourself the most amount of uh, string to work with, all right? I'm gonna do this in real time. What I suggest is if you're trying to do this on your own, maybe uh, pause the video at, after each step to uh, allow you to uh, catch up. So the first thing you're gonna do, make two overlapping loops like that, all right? That's what it's gonna look like. Again, you're gonna go like this, one loop, and then a second loop that overlaps over the first one. Now you take the working end of your string here. You've got one, two, three, four uh, lines there. You're gonna go over the first line, under the second line, over the third line, and under the fourth line, just like that. Then pull it and you're gonna see what you did here now is you've created a, another loop right here. You're gonna bring your working line over the top of your original line right here and then you're gonna go into this loop you made and under the next two lines what you have here is a triangle in the middle you see that a triangle you're gonna go in through here and up through the triangle and that's it and you're gonna pull it tight and you have a giant mess right now what you need to do is start tightening up the um, the knot. What I suggest is you try to figure out, start from this side here, and you want to get it, move the knot down to about here, right? So this line is here. You kind of pull this so that it gets close, and then follow that around here. We'll pull that one, pull this one. basically just following the line around until you get to the end and then pull it down now it's not totally tight yet but you can see it's in that configuration like this one all right now I'm gonna do that again and this time I'm gonna get it all the way down to the tip down here where I want it let's see um, here we go where we start, so we'll pull that to be right, not all the way through, right there, and then, and again, first of all, it's kind of cool, all right, men should know how to tie knots, I firmly believe that, Boy Scouts, they taught me all different knots, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's been incredibly helpful in my life, this is another knot, it's good to know how to use, and it makes your sweatshirt safer and more practical, I hate when my uh, strings fall out in the wash and though it's never happened I would certainly hate to be pulled into my angle grinder by a stupid friggin sweatshirt string I had a shop teacher named Mr. Luna in high school <laughs> he would tell the most horrifying stories about like kids with long hair getting dragged into drill presses <laughs> he really instilled a fear of uh, rotary machines uh, and long hair or ties or loose clothing or you know and you can see, now I've got to go around maybe one more time to really tighten it up and clean it up, but there it is. Uh, it's called either a single strand lanyard knot or a Celtic button knot. Uh, but either way, super simple. Uh, I know that this isn't necessarily strictly an automotive thing, but um, it's a cool thing and, and it's something that's interesting to share and so I wanted to pass it along to you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments on it, by all means, leave that comment down there. I suspect there are some other Boy Scouts in our 
uh, viewers. So if you guys were Boy Scouts or, or um, military and you know something about knots, you know what your favorite knot is. This might be my favorite knot. I'm a big fan of the bowling too. Um, but that's another rant for another day. So, if you got any questions, comment down there in the squawk boxes. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.